Hey everyone, in this quick and dirty how-to, we're getting rid of the USB 3 and going with PCIe Intensity Pro 4K. It's got a fancy breakout cable on it. It's going to make all of my dreams come true. Maybe. I'm not sure about that just yet. But it does everything from 3840 by 2160 at 30 to... S video with a breakout cable. And that's very important, not for the S video on my end, but the audio out I can get directly from the card while using DaVinci Resolve, editing these videos and kind of getting rid of the popping. And that's just a nightmare that I deal with every week. And this is going to fix that. So let's get it installed. Thumbs up, wish me luck, hail Santa. Okay, I'm at Blackmagic Design and capture and playback because I'm gonna get a copy of the latest desktop video, which changed on me very recently. It's 11.3. And I'm just gonna drop that in to a directory. And let's take a look. We have a readme. It's always worth taking a peek at these. Um, currently supported up to 28. I am running Fedora 30. I'm guessing this is still going to work. What do we have? Um, sudo yum install, no gpg check. Simple enough. Now, we're just going to run this because I saw the RPM directory and I'm guessing, yeah, there's RPM and Debian and other we're going to use x86, 64. We have four RPMs. So I am running my own preempt kernel that I built, but you might not be. So make sure on you have your Linux headers installed on Fedora. And, wait, no, it's kernel dev on Fedora and Linux headers on Debian. So I'm just going to run the sudo yum install no gpg check start at rpm to get every rpm in that directory and 216 megs it's not too bad and it should build the kernel module ah it did that's a good kind of error reboot is required let's take a look at that the driver is not new so please try rebooting to load the driver that that sounds like a plan. So, time to reboot. Okay, now we have, yes, our desktop video setup. That's the mini recorder 4K that I currently have. Still working, it's picking up, not a problem. And the new hotness, the Intensity Pro, that can do all the things, including analog video input and output. Hopefully I will never have to use any of that component, composite S video, audio, HDMI, RCA, all the fun stuff. And it does conversion for input or output. Right onto OBS, adding this is like adding any other video source, except you're going to have Blackmagic device. It's there. Probably never paid attention to it. We have the two devices. We'll start with a mini recorder because I know that works. Change it to HDMI. Boom. Okay. We'll be capturing video from two Optiplex 3010s. That's the one. That's the J box. Let's just doing 1080p60. So let's add. The Intensity Pro. And that's the P-Box. 
uh, gets a little, if you've ever tried to capture your desktop with OBS, with OBS in the scene, you, it gets wonky. So I'm kind of playing it by ear here. But let's do some 1080p60 YouTube video. I just, that's what these are going to be used for as co-host video. Everything looks smooth. You might, if you noticed, uh, look in the bottom right of OBS, because I'm recording this at UHD. Even the Threadripper is having trouble recording on uh, 3840 by 2160. It's managing um, about 50 frames a second. But this is coming through smoothly. I don't know how it's making it to the recording or how well it is, but yeah, it's as easy as that. There's nothing to it. Don't fear the black magic. Embrace it. Why are you doing that? Well, when you're done with that, go make something cool. All right. Bye-bye.